what's up guys welcome back to my channel this is dr martin i am so excited to have you coming back to this video if you are new to this channel please do me a favor do like this video comment at the end of the video and do make sure that you do subscribe so as you can see even on the thumbnail and even on the description of the video that today we are tackling intraday trading using your smartphone so a lot of people cannot afford to have laptops as of yet because obviously you're probably starting out from you know an unprivileged background and you only have your smartphone to trade with and today i want to tackle how to really trade using your smartphone in, an, in the most efficient way possible that can really help you uh, make more money and more funds to basically uh, invest in a trading you know laptop in the near future so before we do get to that we are obviously uh, sponsored today by Hanko Trade Official and this is the broker that we do recommend even for the year as I did speak even in my previous videos that we do recommend Hanko so Hanko is a broker that is uh, mainly situated in the Seychelles they do have offices is there and they do operate as an unregulated broker even as i did speak on my previous videos and i have been with them for a couple of months now i have been able to see my withdrawals come through as well and i have clients that do trade with them and have been getting their uh, withdrawals as well and if you do want to obviously do your background check do go to google do go to youtube as well to look at how other traders have actually experienced the brokers so on today's video what i want to cover obviously as i did say is uh you know the nitty gritty of trading with your smartphone so i will be logging on to my metatrader app as this is an app that most of us use as we are obviously on this journey of trading so i am going on to my metatrader app and as you can see uh, i do have the the instruments that i do look at time and again but mostly i do trade us 30 so i'm going to be heading on to my chart right now to basically show you exactly what it is that i would be looking for so do make sure that your phone is uh, on uh, this option to obviously uh, you know help you see uh, the charts even a lot better so do rotate your screen to be able to gravitate through uh, the charts even uh, a lot better so the first thing that we obviously want to establish is we want to establish where the market is trending so as you do know that you know when you do obviously look for trends you look for where the market is headed into you look for the direction of the market and that's the first thing that i will obviously be looking for so that's the first thing that we look for we look for the trend where is the market going is the market going up or down what is it that we are obviously doing in this current market that's going to help us then now be able to take proper and informed trading decisions and i do you know obviously see this being a possibility that the market will still go continue going down because we can clearly see that the market is currently trending down and as we have established that we can then now move on to the next segment if you do want to check how i do check my trading uh, list and you know do check my my kind of uh you know options before i click on a trade do look for the previous videos that i did record so the first thing that i obviously want to look at is the, is the trend and once i do establish the trend then i obviously do want to spot support and resistance levels i will not be going too far because then the market um, is giving us you know current options and uh, you know current levels that we can use to basically be able to trade this particular market so i will be sticking to the h4 time frame because obviously this is intraday trading and i do want to be able to spot opportunities that i can obviously uh utilize on this specific market that i'm on again guys i'm drawing my support and resistance levels according to how i can see them and no two traders can see the same support and resistance levels i can say my level is there someone else can come and say their level is there you're still quite right but for me i do look for the zones that make most sense to me so um as soon as i'm able to spot and identify my levels on the h4 then i will be going down to the h1 to be able to see exactly what it is that i can use as well to be able to trade and once again a lot of people would obviously want to now draw a trend line that comes uh from the bottom over there uh maybe going to the top of the market maybe somewhere around there someone else would have a trend line that uh you know moves like that and if you do look at this uh at this you know pattern you do have a bearish flag because then the market came even from uh the top over there going down and obviously we did see like a range in between these two trend lines that i did draw and obviously the break that would happen is a break that obviously goes to the downside so for me generally speaking my target will be at 32 
three two one and that's where i'm targeting and again i'm looking at us 30 from hang for trade as you can see we do have hkt on the side over there for the guys who've been worried whether we do have us 30 or not as you can see there is us 30 on hanko and once again from there i do go to the m30 so on the m30 i'm going to look for zones that can potentially help me find entry points because i've been able to spot and identify that from the high time frame we are sort of like trending down even on this specific time frame that we are on we can see that the market did give us an uh, an impulse to the downside and a correction to the upside so we want to catch now the impulse to the downside that's coming and what i can clearly see is that the market sort of has like a zone um of sensitivity around there and this would have sort of been like a zone that i do want to trade from so if the market can then now pull back a little bit into this level then i can obviously take this trade to the downside and uh, my first target would obviously be this target and obviously my second target would be the downside target and projection that we did obviously cover over there and obviously because we are on an intraday sort of like perspective for me i do like going into smaller time frames to help me find like early entries so if you do go to the m5 you will notice that the market did sort of like respect this gray area and did give, give us like some kind of a you know of an entry opportunity like around uh this level over the gray level so it wasn't like a clean entry po position i would obviously like to see the market pulling back to that gray area for me to be able to then take these positions and if you do understand these concepts then these can be concepts that really do change your life and you put your proper stops placement behind above the previous high obviously and you do take your entries even on that gray area and hold towards the anticipated targets that you did have so i did give you guys the most efficient way that you can trade using your phone and i hope this really does help you get to a level and a point of success and even uh as we are trading do not forget to even open your account with hanko trade we do have the smoothest trading of our platforms that we can offer and we do have you know beautiful spreads that you can obviously explore as well so do go and click the link on my description to open an account and thank you so much for watching this video this is dr martin we're signing out peace out